This year, 2025, several iconic U.S. warships will be decommissioned, marking the end of their distinguished service. These vessels include aircraft carriers, cruisers, and submarines, which have played crucial roles in global operations from strategic defense to combat missions. Their decommissioning reflects the Navy's shift towards newer, more advanced platforms like the Fort class carriers and Virginia-class submarines. These iconic warships leave behind legacies of operational excellence and technological innovation. Let us see the list of the U.S. warships that will be out of service this year. The USS Germantown LSD-42 This is a Whitby Island-class dock landing ship commissioned in 1986. Named after the Battle of Germantown, she has served the U.S. Navy for nearly 40 years. Designed for amphibious warfare, she can launch and recover landing craft and marines. Germantown has supported operations across the Pacific, Middle East, and humanitarian missions. She also played a key role in disaster relief efforts, including response to typhoons and earthquakes. Equipped to transport marines, vehicles, and helicopters, she has enhanced naval expeditionary capabilities. Over her career, she has participated in joint exercises with allied nations. As the Navy transitions to newer amphibious platforms, Germantown is set to be decommissioned in 2025. Following decommissioning, she will be retired from active service and lightly dismantled. Her decades of service reflect her vital role in amphibious and humanitarian operations. USS Philippine Sea CG-58 This is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser commissioned in 1989. Named after the World War II Battle of the Philippine Sea, she has served for over three decades. Equipped with the Aegis combat system, she specializes in air and missile defense. She participated in multiple deployments in the Mediterranean, Pacific, and the Middle East, supporting carrier strike groups and missile defense operations. Armed with Tomahawk missiles and standard missiles, she has provided long-range strike capabilities. As the Navy retires aging cruisers, she is also set for decommissioning in 2025. Following decommissioning, she will be removed from active service and likely scrapped. Her years of service reflect her vital role in naval warfare and defense. USS Normandy CG-60 This is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser commissioned in 1989, named after the World War II Battle of Normandy, which took place in France and following D-Day. She has served for over 35 years. Normandy has supported carrier strike groups and participated in major naval operations worldwide. She played a vital role in the Gulf War, providing missile defense and launching Tomahawk missiles during Operation Desert Storm. She supported naval operations in the Mediterranean and Middle East, contributing to U.S. power projection. Her service also included enforcing the U.S. embargo against Iraq in 1991. As the Navy phases out older cruisers, she is set for decommissioning in 2025. USS Lake Erie CG-70 this is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser commissioned in 1993. She has played a pivotal role in ballistic missile defense, notably intercepting missiles during tests and worldwide operations. Lake Erie supported key missions in the Pacific and Middle East, ensuring regional stability. She was integral to the ballistic missile defense system BMDS, demonstrating her capabilities in intercepting ballistic threats. The cruiser participated in operations like Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. With a rageous combat system, she also provided air defense and strike capabilities. As the Navy transitions to newer platforms, Lake Erie is set for decommissioning in 2025. USS Shiloh CG-67 This is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser commissioned in 1992. Named after the Battle of Shiloh, she has served the U.S. Navy for over 30 years. Equipped with the Aegis Combat System, she can track and engage multiple threats simultaneously. Shiloh has deployed worldwide, supporting carrier strike groups and ballistic missile defense operations. She has played a key role in regional security, particularly in the Indo-Pacific. Armed with Tomahawk missiles, standard missiles and naval guns, she excels in air and missile defense. Her service includes multiple joint exercises and real-world operations, strengthening U.S. alliances. As the Navy retires aging cruisers, Shiloh is scheduled for decommissioning in 2025 
and she will be phased out as newer platforms like the Constellation class frigates take on her role. Her legacy remains as one of the most capable warships over time. USS Helena SSN-725 This is Los Angeles class attack submarine commissioned in 1987. Named after Helena Montana, she has served the US Navy for nearly four decades. Equipped with advanced sonar and torpedoes, she has played a key role in intelligence gathering and anti-submarine warfare. Helena has participated in numerous deployments, including operations in the Pacific and Persian Gulf. She was among the improved 688-class submarines with enhanced quieting and under-ice capabilities. Over her career, she has supported career strike groups and special force missions. As newer Virginia-class submarines replace aging Los Angeles-class boats, Helena is set for decommissioning in 2025. Her deactivation marks the end of another chapter in Cold War-era submarine service. After decommissioning, she will be recycled through the Navy's ship submarines recycling program. Her legacy remains in the next generation of fast attack submarines. USS Pasadena SSN-752 This is a Los Angeles-class attack submarine commissioned in 1989. Named after Pasadena, California, she has served for over 35 years in the U.S. Navy. Designed for anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, she has completed multiple deployments across the Pacific and Indian Oceans. She has operated in joint exercises and intelligence missions, showcasing the versatility of 688 I-class submarines. As one of the improved Los Angeles-class boats, she features enhanced sonar and quieting technologies. Her service has included operations with carrier strike groups. Pasadena is scheduled for decommissioning in 2025 and she will be dismantled through the ship submarine recycling program. USS Nimitz CVN-68 This is the lead ship of the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers commissioned in 1975. Named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, she has served the U.S. Navy for nearly 50 years. As a nuclear-powered supercarrier, she has been a cornerstone of American naval power. Nimitz has participated in major operations such as the Gulf War, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. She has served as a flagship for multiple carrier strike groups, projecting power worldwide. She can carry over 90 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, supporting air superiority, strike missions, and humanitarian efforts. Over her career, she has sailed millions of nautical miles and led numerous carrier strike groups. With the arrival of newer Ford-class carriers, Nimitz is set for decommissioning this year in 2025. Her inactivation will mark the retirement of the Navy's longest-serving nuclear-powered carrier. Her legacy? will endure through the carriers that follow in her wake. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Stay, stay tuned guys for another exciting video from the buzz. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.